Allison as Dr. Karens with some verbal feedback to go along with uh, the rubric and the written feedback that I've given you. And as I mentioned in my email, which I forget that I don't say it in my written feedback to see my video feedback. So uh, I may not have had to do that, uh, but I've been struggling pretty much for a couple hours trying to get this to work. So this will hopefully mean that it, it'll be a shorter version actually. You did a great job with your presentation. And uh, first of all, the fonts that you used, you know, captured uh, what you were trying to say, but also not everything. And so you had a narrative that went along with that, which was excellent. Uh, so, which is what you want to have. Uh, also, you jumped into your presentation pretty uh, quickly. Uh, I know the Netflix uh, culture deck is mentioned, but maybe a little bit more insight into the, there were various uh, other options that you had, how many were there, to, and you chose these three, uh, two of which you're gonna imp want to implement and one not, which uh, I agree with the one not, and I think that's actually a good one to, uh, to include in and show that it wasn't, you were just uh, drinking the, the Kool-Aid, as they say, of, of Netflix. Uh, so, uh, but one of the things about your disagree openly uh, was that I got, it was a little awkward, the transition that you made to that being broadly sharing information, and then that became what you wanted to implement. Uh, so either that's like a subset of uh, the culture deck or an adaptation of it, which is maybe more likely what it is. It's also difficult to implement uh, for a variety of uh, reasons, which uh, is that people will share things back to you, which you want, you want that disagreement, but more importantly, they wanna know what are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna follow it or not? And uh, that can become a struggle because some of the things uh, that they may be recommending, uh, you don't wanna do as an organization. And so how do you explain that back without discouraging people not to want to continue? And then there's also other reasons why uh, you may not want all information to be out there uh, and how do you, what kind of domain do you have. For example, uh, you could have an SEC type thing, so maybe you have caveats. So the minute you start having caveats, then are you being totally transparent? So just something uh, to consider when it comes to implementation. Uh, the other factor that in your implementation plan to consider would be including IT support. For it. And the minute you start talking about IT, uh, that becomes a nightmare sometimes to do. So uh, how do you push it out? Where do you have it? Do you need to save it? Uh, that sort of thing. So uh, those are elements there. All in all, very uh, good presentation. Enjoyed it. Uh, your professional appearance, you were confident in your presentation. Uh, a couple times uh, you were searching for a word. Uh, so that creates pauses and can create anxiety for you as a presenter. And sometimes the audience can start to root for you for what is that word, and they forget what, what it's uh, associated with. But you didn't have any real long pauses like that, and you did a, a nice job with that as well. And that's gonna happen in presentations, so just have to know that you don't want those to be major ones to distract from uh, on the presentation itself. So I have a personal request. Uh, the end of course survey is up and I uh, want all students to please complete that. Uh, it's the way that my bosses judge me. It's also how I improve. And if you can't give us a top rating, please let us know why and be specific with that. So thank you. Have a happy Thanksgiving. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know.